last game of probably the strangest season of your life? Yeah, did, um, we've possibly just, I know the results haven't been great, but you know, they've been possibly acceptable, but we've started to hit a bit of form, maybe too late really. And we're at the stage with the way we're playing, which we'd like the season to go on for a few more months. Um, but it is what it is, and we'll give it our best shot to try and go out on a high. And you know, uh, it's uh, there's a lot riding on it for Portsmouth. But we've got to play for the integrity of the league and also for our for our uh, own um, pride. And we want to finish as high as we can. And we dropped a few places with that last minute equaliser. You say that was just a second. And you know, I'm, I'm sure Tony and Nicky will. You know they've been in our shoes. That you know they came when we won the when we won the league, and you know at the end of the day you know, we'll have we'll have a drink in, in their office afterwards, and you know probably reminisce over the season. But you know business as usual on Saturday, and we'll be going on to win. Is it good there's something riding on it? Because I remember going to Portsmouth a couple of seasons ago when they were in the playoffs and nothing was riding on it. And it the hard games to play in sometimes. How do we get on? Did we lose them? Yeah. It's, it's, it's nice to go to the big stadiums as well. So, um, you know, we historically play well in the big venues. Um, and, you know, obviously there's the other factor that's going to be on the telly as well. Um, we've got a chance to show the country how well we've come or how well we've done this year. I'm still disappointed. I know the lads are bitterly disappointed as well that we think it's a missed opportunity. But, you know, if you, if you just live your life backwards and look back at what could have been and what should have been and one it doesn't do your, uh, your mental health any any good and two it doesn't allow for you to grow or develop so we'll try and learn from the mistakes we made this season and we'll try and get better for next season. What games have you particularly enjoyed this season what results to count for you? Oh, there's, there's been some smashing ones that you know the, the performances lately you know against you know the second half against Sunderland the, the more or less the whole game against um, against Portsmouth, the game we lost to Plymouth, where I thought we were outstanding. You know the the quality we showed against Ipswich, going down to ten men for so long, and and being the better team for the whole of the second half with ten men. Um, you know, going to Charlton and winning, beating Peter with the opening day of the season. This, you know, just being really big points in this in this season where we've played some terrific football, and lately we're starting to make chances. And it's always a worry when you're not you're not making chances. And I think I think over the last four four games we've probably had about 90 shots, 80 shots. So that's going well, and we're starting to score goals. And uh, the players look as though they're full of confidence. And hopefully we can take that into next year. Which players have particularly impressed you? It'd be difficult to point pick people out to single people out because they've all been to effort. Um, you know, there's been some standout performers this year. And you know you don't need me to tell you that the people who watch us every week will know that. But the captain seems to be getting younger. Uh, Seamus, she's been outstanding. Uh, such a big influence on the on the side. And you miss him when he's out. And similarly with Colby as well, when he's not playing, we miss him as well. Obviously Dion gets the headlines for the goals he scored, and he's done really well as well. But you know you could go through it and the back four have been really good. I know we've let lots of goals in, but you know that. We've 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 had some finds there, with, uh, with certainly with Cameron Nuts and you know the likes of Ben Barkley and and um, Harvey probably didn't expect to play as much of what they did today uh, this season and have done really well as well. So you, you can go to the old team. Um, you know Joey Pritchard showed what what we've been missing when he came on the other day. So hopefully we can keep most of the uh, most of the squad together. And, and have a good go next year. And he's, he's been a big season for Toby Savin as well, which is pleasing because he's come through the academy and he's made his first, you know, he's here in the first team. It is, and there's not many, you know, I think he turned 20 uh, on, tu on uh, sorry, on Tuesday. Yeah. And there won't be many 19 year old goalkeepers who've played best part of the bulk of a season in League One. Started off terrifically well, um, you know, had to deal with, with Nathan coming in and Nathan doing well. and being frustrated and you know it's been been difficult for him coming back but you know you've seen in, in certain games the capability he's got and Toby's gonna gonna go on to have a terrific career I've got no no doubt about that um, and 
that just shows you that we are capable of producing our own players. You know, Ross Sykes has been out for a big part of the season as well, and people forget that. And you know, they're two homegrown players, and if we can keep getting them through, you know, one or two every couple of years, it means that the the academy is doing its job. Uh, only an, owner Andy Holt has said you don't have to sell anybody this summer. How, how do you feel about that? Well, you know, we probably haven't had to sell him over the last two or three years. You know, it was our choice to sell when we did. And that won't change, you know. Myself and Andy are on the same page. And if we think the, the best business sense is to sell a player for the good of the club, that's what we'll do. And it doesn't matter who the player is. But you know they're educated decisions, and they're not they're made with the interest of the club and art, and that they're made on a level, a level-headed basis. Whereas in the past we had to sell to survive, and that's certainly not the case anymore. And which then means that you get the market value. Um, so we're that we're losing our best players for hundred, two hundred thousand. That's no more. You know the starting price for our top players now is well over a million. So. Um, and we're get starting to get treated the way we should have been treated 10 years ago. And uh, you said you got a list of targets over the summer. How many do you think you need to bring in to bolster your squad? Well, it depends on if someone, some go. You know, um, I've, I'm already down the road of making inquiries into players. Um, and hopefully I'll get some sort of within the next couple of weeks so that I can, I can maybe have a, a couple of days off. Uh, you can't go on a beach? No, well, you don't know yet. They haven't, they haven't put the green list out yet. But um, no, I, I um, it's difficult because you, even when you go away, you continually work, you continually think about the football. Um, but I'd like to get most of your business done early on, mainly for the fact that you want them starting pre-season with you, and it's very difficult when players don't do your pre-season. And finally, the lone players will probably be going back to the parent clubs. Um, you know, what do you want to say about them? You know, we've, we've been quite unlucky with injuries with the lone players, but what I will say is the attitude has been absolutely terrific. And, you know, I, I mentioned what Sean said last last week about, you know, it's, it's the best set of lads he's been involved with. And, and we've been we've had some diamonds playing for us. But, you know, you, you see the lads coming from big clubs, you know, the Johnny and Tariq from, and Nathan from Chelsea. They've, you know, not, not complained about anything. They've just got on with it with a smile on their face worked hard to improve themselves and they're a credit to themselves, the families and the club that they've come from. And you know, the you know, the likes of Ryan and the, the you know, Mo and uh, Tommy Allen coming from Newcastle. Um, you know, just great attitudes and a bit disappointed that with the injuries stay to play with them. Um, but what what I've found is now Atkinson is a attractive proposition to come to because People know that they're going to get developed, and we're going to work hard to develop them. And um, you know, people can see this as a springboard to go back to the parent club and push for the first team place.